In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an amazing design with Kittle in just five minutes. And then I will introduce you to the very new mockups feature, which will help you sell your designs on various different products. So one very quick way to create t-shirt designs in Kittle, once you've opened up a new project, is to utilize the templates tab on the left hand side right here in the sidebar. So click on templates and it will come up with logos by default. So we want to change the category up here to t-shirts. And now, as you can see, we see lots and lots of different styles of uh, t-shirt designs right here, which is really, really cool. So you can find your sort of style that fits your niche and then just use any of these templates. Um, you can also click on show all to get obviously a better overview of one style. There's my design from my last uh, Kittle tutorial right here. And uh, this is one of the things I really like about Kittle is that it has more of a community feel, like you're working together with other people to uh, not only get more inspiration, but also create better designs more quickly and more easily. So if we go back, there is tons and tons of options here, but what I want to do today is create an America themed design for July the 4th. So another thing you can do with these templates is just type in uh, something at the top. Let's put USA and hit enter and see what comes back. So I think uh, using one of these at the top would work quite well. So American girl, I'll click on that and it will load straight onto your canvas. Now uh, this might not have the ideal dimensions for t-shirt designs yet, um, or might not have the ones that you typically use. So if you want to change them, head into settings. And uh, I like to go for 4,500 width and 5,400 in height. Then you can click confirm. It's going to adjust the canvas size. Your design might be off to the side um, a little bit now, but you can quickly adjust that by just grouping all of the objects with control G and then aligning them to center like so. And if you're wondering about all of the shortcuts or if you easily forget them, they're always here down in the bottom left um, for you to find them. These can save you a ton of time while creating designs. So instead of using the default phrase right here, American girl I think I'm going to change this to a job title instead uh, the family types of designs with American at the top have been done quite a lot uh, before so we'll just go for dentist as an example right here American dentist um, so type that in click out the text and it will apply the style and because the word is too long we need to drag this box out to the side and then we can adjust it as well with the sort of the corners right here in terms of its size and once again align to center to keep it neat and tidy um, now one more thing i would like to do here is actually change the color slightly because i don't like this sort of purpley blue as much for american themed designs so you can just select everything and then in the group colors up here you could click into the blue and then slightly adjust it um, if you wanted to do something like this, you can also change the red slightly if that's too bright for you, or you want to go towards orange a bit, or maybe into the pink slightly. So just play around with the colors and adjust them if you want to. Um, one tip as well is going to the bottom right here, changing this from white to black so you can see whether it works on different t-shirt design colors and make sure that the ones you want to select later on actually look good. So in this case, it's quite hard to read the text um, if it was on a blue t-shirt and I would like to get a light blue t-shirt involved in the listing. So um, in order to fix that or make it easier to read, select the text and change the text color to white. So we'll do that for dentists as well. And um, I think with the sunglasses, we might be able to change some of these colors as well. So it's all grouped at the moment, as you can see, because if we click into it, you see all of these items being highlighted. To ungroup something, just hit Control G as well. And now we can select these stars individually and also change their color to white. Um, just to give you another tip right there. I think now this design is a lot easier to read and make out. And I think um, what's left now is we could add a little bit of um, a dentist related graphic at the bottom right here. So let's have a look in the section, uh, the element section over here and just type in teeth, just as an example. So we've got not many options right here in terms of teeth. There's there's one down here, one tooth, but um, this one at the top probably looks best in my opinion. So let's drag that onto the canvas, um, change the color to uh, blue. So you can always sample the document colors down here very quickly and easily. And I'm just going to resize this a little bit and copy and paste it over with Alt dragging. And if you hold shift while all dragging, it also stays in line uh, with the rest of your items. So do that a few times to fill out the bottom of this design. And now I'm going to change the color of some of these to red. Just 
gives it a nicer look and it works more coherently with our design. And you can also tidy these up with this button right here to make sure that the distance in between all of your objects is the same. And now if we group them once again, Control G can align them to center. And the only thing I don't like now is that the teeth are above our words right here above the dentist. One way to quickly fix that is go into the layers panel and move the new group, our teeth or tooth group right here. We can also, can we rename it? Yeah. So you can rename it right here to get a better overview and then drag this underneath your text layers essentially. So there we go. I think that looks pretty good. Let's just quickly add a nice little texture to this, um, which we can do at the bottom right here. And then I think we're good to go to head to the mock-up section. So let's try one of these grunge textures. I do really like those. Um, let's just go with the first one, change this from color burn to alpha mask. That one looks best in my opinion. And then you have to make sure to actually clip content right here so it only applies to our design and not the background so now normally i would say just head to download select remove background and then download this as a png but the new feature within Kittle right now is that you can also click on mockups and straight away turn your design into really really nice high quality mockups so this is really exciting they've got some really really cool presets right here and this is only the sort of first launch and it already looks like an amazing mockup tool you can easily click into any of these you can once again hit show all to obviously see all they've got on offer for t-shirts at the moment um, some of these are only for the, for the pro versions and all of them are included with free Kittle Nevertheless, it's really cool to have a mock-up editor built in with the design tool that also makes life a lot easier. So you can flick through the different categories right here. They've got hoodies and sweaters, which definitely has some nice options. Let's try this one out. So you can increase the size there very easily and reposition the design to sort of match the, the top half of the product. You want to place it around the chest area ideally. Unless you have a very tall design, then it can just reach from top to bottom essentially. Within these apparel flat lays right here, they've also got a really, really nice looking one in that sort of Etsy style with lots of objects around the t-shirt. This is a v-neck though, so watch out for that. If you want to use this one specifically in Etsy, you would also have to offer a v-neck version. You can always change the mock-up color right here. So at the moment we've got that blue selected, change it back to white, gray, black. I think black even works for this design, which is really good. So a very versatile design this in terms of which t-shirt colors to use it on. And um, what's also quite cool is they have some home items here. So pillowcases, um, obviously is another item you could sell on Etsy, as well as wall art. Wall art is really popular. And uh, I think this mock-up, for example, looks really cool with this sort of shadow on the right hand side. So as you can see, that makes for quite a nice effect and looks very realistic. I'm really impressed with some of these mockups they've added to this feature um, so early on. It definitely looks really amazing. There's tons and tons of more product categories. There's devices now as well. I hadn't actually seen that yet, which um, obviously if you're selling t-shirts is not that helpful. But if you're creating content like me, that stuff like this is actually really handy. And uh, the mugs section as well. So I sell quite a lot of mugs on Etsy, not just t-shirts and what you rarely find is really good mock-ups for uh, these enamel or camping mugs which um, are quite popular like a lot of people like these mugs but it's really hard to find good mock-ups for them so this one i think looks amazing um, really really good picture and there's some more options here as well this mock-up and obviously some normal ceramic mugs as well for you to play around with. So really, really impressed with this mock-up feature, tons and tons of options, and I'm sure they will expand it more in the future. Once you're happy with the mock-up, all you have to do is click download right here, and it will quickly save it to your device. I hope you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful. Make sure to check out this video next if you want to see me create a t-shirt design with the help of Kittle AI.